Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Anna, AKA NeuroGalMD. I am a neurologist who loves to make videos about brain related topics. In this video, we'll be talking about the neuroscience of improvisation. I'll be reacting to the incredibly talented freestyle rapper, Harry Mack. We'll also delve into what happens inside the brains of people who can spontaneously generate artistic content like Mr. Mack. For those of you who are not familiar with Harry Mack, check him out on YouTube. He is very talented and entertaining. And shout out to my subscriber, Andreas, for introducing me to Harry Mack and for suggesting that I react to one of his videos. Okay, let's get down to business. Hey, what's up? Yo, streamer! What's up, man? What's going on? How you guys doing? Oh, uh, yo, yo, uh, I'll show you. Uh, but, but first, can I just demonstrate what I do? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I need your help, all right? So... How many of you? We got six people. If each of you... Oh, we got seven. We got seven. All right, we're going to try this. Oh, there's eight. God damn. If everybody on camera right now can give me one crazy random word, then I can show you what I do. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Chicken. Binoculars. 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 Chicken. Binoculars. Chicken. Binoculars. Aerodynamics. Aerodynamics. Uh, bacon. Random words. Madagascar. Did you say bacon? Yeah, yeah. That's good. All right, let me review. Let me review. Chicken. Binoculars, yeah. aerodynamics, bacon, yeah. Madagascar, and blasphemy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, check it out. Let's get it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ah. Okay. Ah. Check the way that I'm ripping, man. I got them all flipping. I leave rappers terrified. They be scared. They be chicken. Yeah, check the way I'm doing it. That freestyle guy. Word to chicken. Word to birds. Cause my lyrics too fly. I be coming off the tip of this and spitting the best. h Mac, I cook you up just like a chicken breast. Yeah, I ain't got no time to kick it with these dumb sh Word to chicken legs. I got rhythm like drumsticks. Mac on another level when I do my thing. Improvise, leave you fried. Something like some chicken wings. Yeah, you think you on my level? Problem is you not, boss. I'm spicy like some chicken wings up in the hot sauce. Follow along, killing the song. None of these rappers have heard me. Similar, but we be different. They be your chicken, I'm turkey. Bigger and better when I'm taking flight. Everything that I grab on the mic, just to recite. Sounds like something you might sit down to write. But it's improvised constantly. I bomb MCs, I'm dropping words. Hey, yo, I'm seeing to a distance. There's no binoculars Yeah, everything I'm spitting sound a hella dope They couldn't see me even if they had a telescope h Mac, man, my vibe ain't never subtle You in trouble, couldn't see me if you was watching on the Hubble Listen, I'm in another galaxy, another stratosphere Breaking through the atmosphere, the dopest figure that was clear Wait, I'm breaking through the atmosphere when I slam it I guess I'm in the spacecraft that's aerodynamic See Mac taking flight when he's doing his thing I'm moving fast, aerodynamic when spreading my wings Now how does he do that? How does he incorporate so many versatile words, have them make sense, incorporate the words requested by his audience and create this story, this fluid story that, that makes sense? Incredible. There. I'm about to blast ya, I'm moving past ya I make you gasp for air like asthma I'm like NASA, I'm leaving the surface And living my purpose, these rappers is worthless When I'm spitting, they be sweating, they nervous I keep it going, yeah The Mac ain't never faking Frying instrumentals like we cooking up some bacon Every time I'm spitting, people know we getting reckless Damn, that smells good, bacon is for breakfast We got the eggs as well, I'm going over easy Rappers trying to spit like me, but they do not please me I'm so sick, I'm queasy, I'm about to vomit I crack your planet with the comet, Mac is fully up on it I keep it honest, that's a promise, yo I'ma keep on going when I blast bars From LA to Madagascar Hey yo, you didn't think my brain could stretch that far Hey yo, I race around these tracks just like a NASCAR Hey yo, it has to be so Y'all know we here to cause catastrophes Actually, I'ma cause a casualty casually I'm rolling with my faculties And utilizing faculties to smash MCs Yeah, holla back my G That Mac MC be going deeper Y'all know what we on Brand new lyrics is about to get spawned Hold up, Madagascar is what I heard And now I'm trying to remember what was the last word Hey yo, I'm here for all of y'all Somebody remind me 
Oh, it's blasphemy. You should have asked for me. I did that whole scheme about casually causing casualties, and that should have come after, G. But now I'm working in, you better know the scheme. It's H Mac, I be out here living my dream. Yeah, I grip up on the MIC and I create for y'all. How many people on screen? Shout to all eight of y'all. Yeah, I know all around the world they heard me. Peace the homie with the basketball, homie in red jersey. Yeah, I get loose when I free these flows. He got the Adidas jersey that says BMO. Henry Mac, I keep it moving when I'm rocking, they gon' get amped. Shout the homie leaning in, rocking the gray sweatpants. Hold up, and they be blown away by what I do for y'all. Then again, gray sweatpants applies to two of y'all. Hey yo, y'all know I live my dream with ease. I'm just thinking about all these cognitive processes going on in his brain. He's incorporating all the words requested. He forgot the last word. Is able to ask the audience what the last word was and have it make sense within his rap and then notices details about his audience and then corrects himself about the details like the the he notices that two guys are wearing sweat gray sweatpants instead of one and he's flowing it all comes together and sounds amazing this homie got his arms straight up leaned on the knee Yeah, arms stretching across, I wreck like a boss Yeah, when they be coming to lyrics, they know that I'll never be taking a loss I just go in, I'm going deep When I be lyrically all in a creep, I'm never cheap All of these rappers, they claim that they flex it, but they hella weak Listen, I'm off the tip of the dome, dropping these fly poems Piece of the homie in the back up on the iPhone, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. Oh my goodness. What goes on inside the brain of a freestyle rapper like Harry Mack, or any person who is able to spontaneously generate artistic content, be it a musician, a dancer, a figure skater, or even an improvisational comedian? It turns out that research has actually been done on this. Researchers have placed freestyle rappers and other experienced musicians in functional MRIs and scanned their brains while they were freestyling. They discovered that a major key to improvisation involves the dissociation between two major regions in the brain, the medial prefrontal cortex and the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. Increased activity was found in the medial prefrontal cortex, a part of the brain responsible for motivation of thought and action. Decreased activity was found in the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, a part of the brain that plays a supervisory or self-monitoring role. Typically, our behavior is controlled by strong interactions between these brain regions. The medial prefrontal cortex sends signals to the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, asking for permission to allow a certain action to play out. If the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex approves, this results in a human action. The dorsolateral prefrontal cortex allows for conscious supervision of behavior in order to ensure that actions align with inner goals, much like a strict parent who monitors a child's behavior to ensure it conforms to the rules. However, during a creative process like freestyling, the interaction between the medial prefrontal cortex and the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex changes. The judgmental dorsolateral prefrontal cortex is shut down. This allows for ideas to flow out freely through the medial prefrontal cortex. This dissociated pattern results in a sort of altered state of consciousness in which spontaneous generation of artistic content can unfold in the absence of conscious control. This may explain why creative people feel as though their creative inspiration comes from an entity outside of themselves. This altered state of consciousness is often referred to as the flow state. Flow state is defined as the mental state in which a person is totally absorbed by something beyond the point of distraction. Time feels like it slows down, senses are heightened, and you are at one with the task at hand, as action and awareness sink to create effortless momentum. In a state of flow, your body and mind will know exactly what needs to be done without having to think about it. The thoughts and feelings that cloud our minds, such as stress, worry, and self-doubt, take a back seat. Now, in order to tap into creative, spontaneous flow, freestylers have to turn off the inner critic inside of their brain. But how exactly does one shut down that inner critic? Easier said than done. Here are a few methods that creatives can use to override an overbearing inner critic. Number one, play. Just because we're adults doesn't mean we can't play. 
Western culture has beat into us that we have to be productive every moment of the day in order to be worthy. However, playing serves an important role in our neurological and psychological health. When we play, we activate brain regions that promote creativity, imagination, problem-solving skills, and open-mindedness. Number two, morning pages. Another way to allow for free flow of information without the presence of an overbearing inner critic is to write first thing in the morning. This idea is taken from Julia Cameron's book, An Artist's Way. Writing three pages of longhand every morning, immediately after waking up, allows you to write from stream of consciousness. Parts of your brain, including the inner critic, are not yet fully awake enough to intrude into what the emotional and creative aspects of your brain have been processing throughout the night. By doing this, you are able to discover new connections and spontaneously generate creative ideas. Another way to minimize an overly critical dorsolateral prefrontal cortex is to boost your self-confidence with positive self-talk and imagery. This works especially well prior to any sort of high pressure situation like a performance. A recent interview of Harry Mack reveals that he uses this tool to calm his inner critic before he performs. First time I heard the roots or the first time I heard Eminem or just, you know, these moments where it was just like, I'm never going to touch that is how I felt back when I was in sixth, seventh grade. You know, it's like these guys are like gods and superheroes. And so no matter how far I come, you know what I mean? That's still sort of locked in my brain. I feel like especially watching you and it, it happens with me, too. Like we walk away from the mic. We we have our insecurities. But once that beat comes right. on, it's all gone, isn't it? It's like it's almost like a different sort of personality in person that is that is on that microphone. 100%. The only mindset that's going to serve you when you grab the mic to, to rhyme is I'm the greatest MC on the planet. That, that's the only mindset that's going to, even if it's your first rap or mm. your second rap ever, and you, you're definitely not, you know, even if you're not even dope, why would you be in any other mindset? When you touch that mic, it's like, you're the greatest on the planet. And that's the only mindset that, in my opinion, is going to allow you to, to, to put your best foot forward. With positive self-talk, he boosts his confidence and helps calm the inner critic part of his brain to allow him to tap into flow going into a performance. Now, you can't just become a god of improvisation without years of practice. Mastering any skill, be it freestyle rapping, dancing, playing a musical instrument, or even becoming a comedian takes many years of practice. Author Malcolm Gladwell states in his book Outliers that it takes, on average, 10,000 hours to master a skill. Of course, this number is only an average. It can take less time for people who have a natural inclination toward a skill or if the practice is consistently high quality. So what can we learn from the neuroscience behind improvisation? How can we apply it to our own creative pursuits? If you want to generate artistic content more spontaneously like Harry Mack, the key in addition to years of practice, is to turn off that self-critic inside of your brain and not to take yourself too seriously. As poet Eric Hansen wrote, there is freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky and you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? This is Nurgal MD and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible content about the brain. We'll catch you next time.